What is going on guys? So today we got some new information from Cinemax. They released a patch today that fixed some long-standing issues that had arrived since update 37. Now I don't know the whole time frame on all this stuff because I just got back to the game yesterday. I took about a month, month and a half off. So if I get this time frame wrong, then I do apologize because um, I just got all this information split on me yesterday trying to get, sift through it, trying to understand what's going on and kind of the state of the game in general. So first of all, there has been a pretty massive CC break um, bug where it's not registering where you press buttons. And obviously that's a very big problem, especially in high intensity situations like in PVP. And the other were some buttons and the gamepad would block other actions. So that was a pretty big issue for, you know, obviously the controller players, myself and many others that play on PC that use a controller. It definitely impacted our ability because there was a, a multiple times at least yesterday that I was like, why can't I CC break or why can't I move? Why can't I roll dodge? And I'm like, I can't move. And it's just, it was just very, very annoying. And there's also was a exploit that was finally fixed as well, um, where it would allow you to have multiple, well, it increased the potency of the enchant on specific jewelry pieces. And this is still a visual bug, at least according to Zoss. I've not personally tested this. I heard that Epic, had tested this and it was resolved and it's not giving any increase of damage anymore. It's just a visual bug. Now I do want to say from what I've gathered and from what I've been told, um, it's only taken Zoss about four or five days to fix the exploit with the jewelry, the CC break and the block and you know all that type of stuff. Maybe took them a little bit longer, but that's definitely some good news because I was really considering when I played yesterday, I was like, I just came back and there's all these problems. So I didn't even know if I would even keep playing until these issues were fixed. And at least it appears now that they have been fixed, which is very, very good. Now, whether you believe you should be able to exploit or not, that is up to you and your decision. I personally would never exploit to that degree of getting unfair stats to prove some ego or whatever the case is in a video game. And that's just, just unrealistic. It definitely is good that Zoss did fix this in a in a timely manner to some degree. It seems like, uh, at least with this situation, they they got the pep in the step, so to speak. Um, and just like, remember the the healing bug that she was healing for like 230,000 healing um, back in the day whenever I, I reported that to Gina as well. So at least game breaking exploits like that to that degree get fixed, but block bugs and <laughs> those things that take, you know, six weeks to fix. I don't know. It just it is what it is sometimes. Um, I've definitely taken a healthy break from the game and want to get back into it. I'm going to be playing some other classes like DK, um, probably here in the next day or so. I just need to get a few more skill points and my DK build will be ready. But I just wanted to really relay this information to you guys that the um, enchantment bug has been fixed, at least according to Zoss in the patch notes, and that the, the two combat related issues with a, a CC breaking and, and all that jazz at least according to Zoss, has been fixed. Definitely report any bugs that you experience in game um, that, that you still feel after this update. But that's all I wanted to share with you guys. And I'll be coming out with some build videos, all that jazz over the next few weeks. And that's it for me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.